Hi guys, thanks again for joining us. This is Mike and Ron at uh, Practical Physio Seminars. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about the anatomical model or the, the, the practical model of the vestibular system and the, and, and the endolymph uh, and autoconia movement in the semicircular canals. Um, we have another video that shows the um, constructions of this uh, model and you can watch that video and we also have some more uh, bibliography uh, that you can see in the description uh, below and what i wanted to talk about is uh, why we're doing this why why i built it in the first place and exactly how it works so we'll start with uh, the canals themselves you can see here the uh, the horizontal canal you can see the 25 degree approximately it's more like 27 degree angle of the lateral canal or horizontal canal we have the anterior canal we have the posterior canal the common cross and uh, in another video you will see the flow of the autoconia through the canal i basically put in a teaspoon of sand that mimics the uh, the flow of the autoconia and it really works well for patients, especially patients with anxiety, because when they see this uh, in motion, they can appreciate why they're feeling what they're feeling, why they need to do the particle repositioning maneuver the way that we instruct them to, and why they have to wait in each positions for uh, as long as they do. Um, it, it just really brings it home, and it also helps reduce anxiety once they understand what's going on. So we'll take a look at the model from different angles. And uh, if you're looking at it from a lateral perspective, so you're looking now at the left ear, uh, again, from a lateral perspective, here's the horizontal canal, posterior canal, anterior canal. And if I change it, so you're looking from the front, okay, we have again, the anterior canal, the horizontal canal and the posterior canal. And if you're looking at it from a medial perspective, this is what it would look like. Again, you can appreciate the difference between the posterior canal, anterior canal, and I'm gonna bring it back so you're looking at it from the front, and then this is a superior view. So you can see the angulation difference between the anterior and the posterior canals. Okay, so again, it will be like this. Um, what we're doing when we're changing the, when we're talking about changing positions, we basically show the patient with the model what happens when you're, you are in a sitting position and your head is upright and then you are lying down. And as we do that, they can see how the crystals are moving through the canal when you have BBPV and how they settle down at the bottom of the canal and they understand why they have the symptoms for as long as they do. So this is a brief description of this model and how it works and watch our other videos. And uh, thanks again from Practical Physio Seminars. See you later.